First up, let's install the font which Mr. Beast uses on our computer. Don't worry, I'll put the link to it in the description below for you. Open the file up, double click it and hit the install button. Now when you look in the text drop down menu in Premiere Pro, you may not see the Mr. Beast font yet. To sort this, just close down Premiere and reopen the project. You should be able to find that the font is now visible in the drop down menu after that. First things first, we need to create a new project. Go to File, New, Project and set your project settings to your desired resolution and frame rate. Okay, so we've got our project here, all ready to roll. Let's go over to the Captions and Graphics workspace. If you don't see anything, go to Workspaces, Reset, Save Layout. And there we go, you should see this text area pop up here. And what we can simply do is create transcription and it'll pop up this little menu, click the language. If we have more than one speakers, we can separate the speakers here. Audio analysis, we can do it on the whole mix because we only got one channel and just click transcribe. And Premiere is just gonna run through the video and convert all the audio into text for us. Next thing you wanna do is check over the spelling, double click on the particular caption you wanna change and make any adjustments there. For this example, I'm just gonna move straight on to the next step which is create captions, which is the little icon here. Click on that, preferences. Now I'm gonna keep the lines to single and click create. And as you can see, it's now added a subtitle channel to us. So if we press play. Tips for better filmmaking. Plan, plan, plan. The more you plan out your shots, the smoother your shoot will go. It's just a quicker way of assembling all the text rather than writing it all out. You can literally just copy and paste it from the subtitles. Find the subtitles you want to animate, highlight it and copy it with your text tool, paste into the section, highlight the graphic, we want to change the size to 200, make it nice and big and we want to make sure it's all in capitals by clicking this little icon here and then we want to change the font to what Mr Beast uses which is this one here. I'll put the link to the font in the description. We're going to change the color to yellow. And then it was the stroke value to black and around 15. So there we have the font ready to roll. Next, we're going to work out when I'm saying each word. Invest. That's the first part. Make a cut there. In good. Good starts here. Good e equipment starts around of there. Equipment. There we go. We'll lead that in about there. And let's just delete the surplus there. So now, next we want to delete the parts we don't need. So this we don't need that. Invest. Let's align that to the center, like so. Next part. In, I'm going to get rid of invest. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this. Justify this to the center. Next part, I'm going to get rid of in and keep good. Let's just justify that again to the center. And then the last part, get rid of everything except equipment. like so and then just justify that to the center as well okay so now we have invest in good equipment now it's time to animate with your text layer selected head over to the effects control panel and add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon next to the position property so highlight your first word go over to the effects controls we're going to hit this little toggle animation here on scale Click that, change the value here to zero. So that's our first keyframe. Then with the right arrow key, hit twice. And then we're gonna hit the value here again. Change this to 125, like so. And then hit the uh, right arrow key again, twice. And then go back to 100, like so. So what that's gonna do is gonna pop out, give you that pop out animation effect. Invest like that. 
Let's just move out the keyframes here with Easy Ease. Highlight all the keyframes, right click, Easy E. This will make the text smoothly transition into the final position. So now we can highlight these again. Control C, copy, go to the next word. Simply press paste and those same keyframes we pasted into this word here. Go down to the next word, do the same and the next word do the same so now we have all in invest in good equipment the pop-up effect in this center there which is looking good again you don't need to do this for everything so what i would do is probably delete this this subtitle here and then change the fonts for the rest of rest of the video in the style of mr beast and i'll do this by again highlighting the subtitles going to the particular font like so and changing the values to the yellow again like so we want the black border values will be a little bit different because it's smaller but that looks okay so then we've got invest in good equipment well, then you've got the continuation of the subtitles in the right font you want So maybe you don't want the words popping up in the center here. What you'll need to do is highlight all the clips, right click, nest this sequence. Let's call it part one. Like so. And now you can move the whole animation down using the position here so we can move it down. But what I tend to do is just bring up this little icon, safe margins. And if you can't see it, click the plus icon here and you should be able to see it here to add it and drag it into your little timeline thing here. Click OK. So bring this up and I like to bring this down just here because this is the safe zone of your video. Invest in good equipment while you don't need the most expensive gear out there and then just repeat the process for any additional layers you want to add. And that's it. You now know how to make those super cool pop-up text animations like Mr. Beast in Premiere Pro. If you're happy with the way it looks, go to File, Export Media to save your masterpiece. I hope you managed to follow along with this little tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.